All right, this video is entitled Scalar versus Vector, and obviously I'm going to go through the differences between what a scalar is and a vector is. And I just, uh, in this diagram here on the front, I have a desk, and there's two arrows pointing down the desk, and there's these numbers next to them. And the numbers represent the forces, and the arrows represent the direction. So in this case, these are vectors. Force is a vector because we have a number and an arrow. So this is one case where we have a vector. So let's go through the specifics of what the difference of a, between a scalar and a vector is. When I think of the difference between a scalar and a vector, I think of the fact that vectors are supposed to have direction. So if we have a number, a magnitude, or a size of something, and it doesn't give us a direction, then that would be a scalar. So for example, it says right here, scalar gives you the magnitude only. So for example, we have five meters. So this could be a distance that we traveled, uh, and we don't know which direction we went. All we know is that it was five meters, so in that case, this would be a scalar. Another example is uh, this is a speed 20 meters per second, but we don't know which way we're going. So um, it, it doesn't include a direction. So again, this is a scalar. It just has the magnitude of the speed or how fast we're going. Uh, when, we have it, when we talk about vectors, we have some additional information because it has the magnitude and the direction. So for example, if we have um, a speed, I mean, excuse me, a distance here, five meters, and then it says to the west, this would not be considered a displacement because it's a distance plus the direction and that would be a displacement, which is a vector. Now, in our example up here, we had our speed of 20 meters per second. Well, down here we have 20 meters per second, and it says here that we're going in the negative direction. So we know that that's now a vector because we have our magnitude, 20 meters, and we have our direction, a negative direction. And sometimes your speed is important, and sometimes you want to know which way you're going because if this car is coming towards you or coming away from you, that means you're either going to get hit by the car or you're not going to get hit. So in some cases, um, Direction is very important. Now the last example I have down here is uh, 3 meters per second squared. That's an acceleration, and acceleration is also a vector. You have to include a direction if you want to have the acceleration. So that can give us some information about whether we're slowing down or speeding up. All right, so let me just go over that really quick again. We have scalars and vectors. Uh, scalar gives you the magnitude only, for example, 5 meters, and then a vector would include a direction, and we have down here, obviously, 5 meters to the west. All right, so that's really the main difference between a scalar and a vector. All right, here's some uh, quantities we're going to have to talk about in class and that you're going to have to be aware of whether they're scalars or vectors. So distance, I think I mentioned in the previous um, slide that just distance just tells you how far, and how far does not include a direction, so that's a scalar. And some of the examples of that could be like 20 kilometers or 3 centimeters, no direction. That just tells you distance. Okay, now displacement. Displacement is a little bit different than distance. Displacement is our change in position from where we started to where we ended. It doesn't really matter what we did in between. All we want to know is how far out of place are we from where we started to where we ended. And that makes it a, a, a vector because you have to know the direction. And you can see that we have not just 20 kilometers, but now we have 20 kilometers to the west. And now we don't have just three centimeters. This is negative three centimeters, and that means we're going in the negative direction. All right, speed. Speed, as you might guess, is a scalar because when you get a speeding ticket, the police or the cops don't tell you which way or they don't really care which way you're going. All they want to know is that you were you going under or over the speed limit. So speed is a scalar. And some speeds, for example, would be 20 kilometers per hour or three meters per second squared. Velocity now gives us some different information because we have the direction and therefore velocity is a vector. Velocity includes the magnitude. So we have the magnitude here, 20 kilometers per hour, and it tells us the direction. Or again, we have three meters per second, but now we have negative, which means we're going in the negative direction. Negative velocity does not mean you're slowing down. We'll talk about that yeah, more in the future. Okay, acceleration, as I mentioned in the previous slide, is also a vector. We have to know which way the acceleration is headed so that we can tell which way, whether we're slowing down or speeding up. So we have 20 kilometers per hour squared to the west, and again, 3 meters per second squared, and that would be in the negative direction. So acceleration is also a vector. It includes magnitude and direction. Okay, force, the last one is also a vector, as I mentioned on the first slide. We have to know the magnitude of the force, how big the force is, and which way it's pushing, because again, that'll tell us whether or not we're slowing down or speeding up. Forces are the things that cause acceleration, and acceleration is a change in your velocity. All right, uh, and the, uh, the metric units for um, force are the newton in here, and then we have on this slide, we have 15 newtons in the negative direction. So that's the magnitude, it's the 15, obviously, and then the direction here, it says in the negative direction. All right? 
Okay, next slide. So here's some real life examples to see if we can figure out whether these are scalars or vectors. Here we have 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Now once again you notice right away that there's no direction and with temperature you wouldn't have a direction. So obviously temperature or this quantity here is a scalar. Now the next one down here we have 20 meters to the south. So that's the displacement. That's what our displacement is. We have the magnitude 20 meters and the direction is to the south. So again that should be pretty obviously a vector. Now here is again 20, 50 miles per hour. Now you should, you should recognize this pretty quickly that that's just the speed. So in this case the speed is going to be a scalar. No direction. Alright now here again we have our uh, speed 7 meters per second but now we have the direction and that's to the east so that's the magnitude and the direction so that makes that a vector. Alright and the final one is 25 calories. It's kind of like the first one you can't really have a direction for calories. Hopefully uh, you're going in the right direction with your calories, but um, we don't really have calories when we talk about, we don't really have direction when we talk about calories. So calories, again, is a scalar. All right, so that's really the difference between scalars and vectors. Uh, vector has a direction and scalar does not. All right, now I wanted to go on and show you some examples about just really quickly how we draw or how we show uh, vectors when we talk about vectors uh, uh, in class and how we're going to show them. So for example, um, we have here a vector and I wrote down here vectors and I put an arrow above it because usually we use an arrow to show the direction of something. So for example, if we have an arrow, we have an arrow that will say points in this direction and let's say that represents five meters per second, that's a velocity. Here's our speed and we're going in that direction. All right, now we could have an arrow that points like this. You notice the arrow is the same length. The vector arrow is the same length. So it's still five meters per second for our speed, but because we're going in the opposite direction, now we know that we have a direction to it. So we know that both of these are velocities. So the speeds are the same. We're going at the same speed, but we're going in opposite directions. And let's say we can show one more. Let's say we draw a vector arrow that looks like this, and you'll notice that this vector arrow is twice as long as this one. The directions are the same, but somewhat obviously, therefore, because the arrow is twice as big, the speed is twice as much. So that would be 10 meters per second in the same direction. Okay, so that's the way we show them, and we should we have uh, for each of those we have the speed and the direction. So each of these are really velocities, which are vectors. Okay, and we'll get into that more in future videos. Thank you very much.